Hello Gemini and welcome to your monthly video horoscope for the month of November. To say that you're sociable would be a vast understatement. You are the sign of the twins after all, which means that you carry both polarities inside of yourself. With that being the case, you're able to be accommodating and flexible to the needs of the others who are in your life. If somebody needs for you to be the positive active force within a connection, you can do that. If somebody needs for you to be the receptive force within a connection, you have a vast capacity to do that as well. But even you have your limits in terms of how accommodating you can be for another or are willing to be for another. And it is quite likely that you have had just about enough of a key connection and the type of treatment and seeming disrespect that you're receiving within this connection. Now, I did say seeming disrespect. And the reason I said that because it is quite often that the significant others in our lives don't really intend any disrespect by their actions. They're just carrying out their own karmic drama on this grand play of consciousness. And in the course of those events, they just tend to have an impact upon us without any preconceived knowledge that they would be doing so. So all the more reason to clear the slate with them, to have honest communication. And this month provides you with a very profound opportunity to do so. But in order to do so, you're going to have to tell it exactly like it is and have the willingness inside of yourself to let go of this connection altogether should need be, regardless of whatever the significance of this relationship might be. So much stands to open up for you in terms of finally coming out with what you've been holding on to inside of yourself for so very long. You know, it's the true connections that are the ones that can endure the truth, no matter how harsh the truth might seem. If there cannot be clear communication between yourself and another, then there can only exist a more superficial veneer, which will only wear down over the course of time, along with the relationship itself. So harsh as it may seem, by coming out and being honest and clearly communicating the truth of what you're feeling in a specific situation, you're actually going to be doing both yourself and this other person, whoever they may be, a favor. So although you're going to have to face the um, you know, potential fear of loss or the potential fear of stress or fear of conflict even through doing so, through being courageous and finally having the courage to come out with it. It's going to stand to benefit both yourself and the significant other in your life. There are several key aspects over the course of this month for you, looking at aspects from your ruler to other planets. Mercury is one of the quickest moving planets. It's another reason that Geminis are so very sociable because it's very fast moving, making aspects with lots of planets. On the first, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these in groups and then kind of go back over and re-encapsulate what I'm seeing. Over the first, you've got Mercury forming a harmonious angle with Jupiter. This aspect bears the tone of recognizing that something that you've been holding on to as a responsibility or a burden that you've been carrying, there is finally the recognition that this is not yours to shoulder and it's not your responsibility to carry. And the moment you make that decision to not shoulder that responsibility anymore is the moment that you become free and liberated. Following on the tails of that, on the 6th, you've got a full moon in your solar 12th house, in the sign of Taurus, which signifies a process of letting go of something from the past, potentially even letting go of all that you've been holding on to inside of yourself in regards to this key connection. On the 8th, Mercury enters Scorpio. The 12th, you've got Mercury trining Neptune. And on the 16th, Mercury sextiling Pluto. 21st, Mars sextiles Mercury. Over the course of those several days, confronting the potential for drama, but confronting it so that you have an opportunity to clarify circumstances, to clarify what you're feeling, to get to the root of the situation, 
and to really be upfront with where you stand with that. The moment that you're upfront with where you stand with it, there's a very powerful opportunity to push through a lot of resistance and inertia that has previously been there um, because so much of a burden is going to be freed from your shoulders as a result of this. On the 22nd, there's a new moon in your opposite sign. That's your relationship house. And that starts off a profound opportunity to establish a sense of balance within your connection with this other individual. Right after that, you've got Mercury squaring Jupiter on the 23rd, a conjunction between Mercury and Saturn on the 26th, and Mercury entering Sagittarius on the 28th. You're going to have to do some looking at yourself within this situation, too, and see perhaps where your um, actions, communications, might have been coming across in a specific way to another individual in the past, not necessarily over the course of this month, that didn't make them feel quite so happy with the connection as well. But through doing so, there's a very deep opportunity for the slate to be cleared and for a very um, clean, powerful, and honest relationship to be established with another individual. If you'd like to know a little bit more about how this month's astrology will impact you personally, I offer a vast range of astrological services that are available through the link above, which will take you to a page on my website. I have um, personal consultations, which are one-to-one -one consultations, where I am able to share your chart with you over the internet and point out key points in your chart as we have a discussion about whatever it is we're talking about in relation to your personal astrology. In addition to that, there are in-depth personalized video reports, which are me taking a look at your chart in the same manner, pointing out things to you, but only recorded as a monologue for a half hour, uh, but in addressing, of course, the uh, key points that you want me to take a look at for you. In addition to that, I also offer written reports. Some of us have an easier time integrating the written word than we do the spoken word. So I offer written reports for people who are interested in that approach. In addition, if you haven't already, you might consider subscribing to my YouTube page. You'll receive an update each time the page is updated, which generally happens once a week with the weekly video forecasts. Every two weeks, there's a new moon or a full moon video. In addition to that, there are the monthly video horoscopes and the occasional Vedic astrology class. So over the course of the month, there are quite a lot of videos that are updated on my YouTube page. and You'll receive notice every time my YouTube page is updated. That's going to do it for your monthly video forecast for this month. Until next month, please do take very good care.